Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about proximity ligation assay. The proximity ligation assay, also known as PLA, is used to assess protein-protein interactions using PLA probes that get linked together, amplified, and quantified using RT-PCR or fluorescent microscopy. Starting off, primary antibodies recognize and bind to the two proteins of interest. The primary antibodies are then recognized by secondary antibodies that are pre-conjugated to the so-called PLA probes made up of single-stranded oligonucleotides. One of the secondary antibodies is linked to the three prime end of the first PLA oligoprobe, and the other secondary antibody is conjugated to the five prime end of the second PLA probe. If the two proteins of interest interact, then the PLA probes are brought together. Connector oligonucleotides are then added and will hybridize with the adjacent PLA probes forming an imperfect circle with two NICs. Ligase is then used to seal the NIC between the two connector oligos and make a continuous circle. The circular DNA can then be amplified via rolling circle amplification using DNA polymerase to extend the free three prime end of the second PLA probe. The amplified DNA can then be quantified by QRT-PCR or visualized with in situ using fluorescently labeled DNA probes via fluorescence microscopy. The successful connection and amplification of the PLA probes means that the proteins interact. And here, I have a quick overview of the whole process. First, the proteins of interest are bound by primary antibodies, then secondary antibodies covalently linked with the PLA probes are introduced and bind to the primary antibodies on the proteins of interest. Connector oligonucleotides hybridize and bridge the two probes. Ligase seals the NIC, and then the DNA is replicated via rolling circle amplification with DNA polymerase and quantified. Next, we'll talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of PLA. The advantages of PLA are that it is fast and efficient and there are different versions of the assay suitable for samples with low concentrations of the target proteins or samples with competing proteins present. I've included links in my sources if you want to read more about other types of PLA. The disadvantages of PLA are that the assay can only function with high quality specific antibodies and there can be nonspecific binding of the antibodies used for the assay. Thanks for watching.